been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Good morning friends, it has been a long night And James is going to have hip replacement surgery at about 1 o'clock So I just came downstairs I'm out of breath They said this was the quickest way to get to the cafeteria instead of the elevator And then having to go through the halls but I'm out of breath. Um, I just went downstairs and got a coffee and a yogurt and I'm gonna eat this because I haven't eaten since breakfast yesterday. is in the car in a very iced over parking lot so I look a little worse for the wear and I barely slept but I wanted to let you guys know they just took him back for surgery I'm actually sitting in the waiting room with um, Carrie who is like my second father basically um, the kids go swimming at his house a lot we go to church with them and um, yeah I can just always count on Terry and I love Terry to death um, but he is sitting here with me in the waiting room and we're waiting to hear from the surgeon. It's about to be four, just hanging out, waiting on James to wake up. They said if a physical therapist came in, they were gonna have him up and walking and bearing weight today. But due to the ice, they didn't know if one was gonna come in. So we just wait. Give a little bit of your heart to me. It's now almost 6 p.m. James just finally um, is up and alert. He had me order him a ham sandwich and some fries. And he just ate that and drank a tea. And now he is watching some TV and I'm gonna grab me some dinner. Hi friends. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. It's 7.30. James is up. They've got his IVs and stuff on the hook, but he still has the IV in his arm in case he needs um, stronger pain medicine because he's having a lot of pain in his leg. But he's up. He's eating a biscuit and gravy, drinking some coffee, and he's in better spirits than he has been. Hi friends, um, this is the first time I've been out of the hospital in a few days, but I wanted to hop on here, say hi, say good afternoon. Uh, I feel like there was a hairbrush in this car. Oh, there is, oh good. I have not been able to brush my hair in days. The parking lot was iced over and I didn't wanna venture out on ice to look for a hairbrush. Um, anyways, so let me tell you guys about what happened because I feel like I've been kind of short with you guys and just busy. Um, but the other night, right before the ice storm, James came in with a few groceries. He had eggs and orange juice and milk and, you know, just arms full of stuff. And he was walking through the yard and this big dog knocked him down and he couldn't catch himself because his arms were full of like a big 90 count egg and, you know, all these jugs and bags and things that he was trying to balance all at once. Um, so he fell. And when he did, he was out there. I don't know how long he was out there, but um, I didn't even know he was home yet. And CJ said, I heard somebody screaming. And he went and looked out back and then he ran out there. He came back and he said, uh, 
dad is out in the yard he said he can't get up so we went back out there cj and i tried to get him up i felt on his hip um i knew his hip was not in the socket and that <clears throat> there was definitely something wrong i kept telling him we need to get you up to get you to the emergency room and um james was like there's no way you're, you're not picking me up you guys can't do it it hurts too bad so um i called 911 just north of us i keep finding more knots um just north of us it was already starting to ice over and so when i called they said well they're going to be at least 35 minutes if not longer they want us to advise you of that and if you can get him to the hospital it'd be better if you just took him and i said there's no way i can get him out of my driveway he's laying on the ground his hip is not in the socket you know there's nothing i can do and they said okay and then um i um sorry my brain is just so tired right now I waited outside with him and CJ and we put his cart heart jacket over his body that was in the car and then we went and got two big comforters out of the house. We covered him up and we watched for the ambulance to come. It took 34 minutes for the fire department to come and they actually stopped way up the road. CJ had to go down there and flag them down and get them to come to where we were. And um, so he got the fire department to come down and they immediately started, you know, getting out hot blankets and covering him up because he it was 29 degrees and he was shivering. And so they covered him up and they splinted his legs together. And then we were waiting for the ambulance to come. The ambulance came at 57 minutes after my 911 call. And the whole time me and CJ were freezing, James was really freezing because he was on the cold ground and they finally showed up um which again you know there was an ice storm that was just north of us there was cars wrecking like crazy i mean i understand why it took so long i just wish that there would have been a way cj and i could have gotten him there sooner um they got him in the ambulance they got him here to the hospital um this is not the hospital we would have chosen it does not have a very good reputation at all um but it was the only option because where we normally go for things, it was already icing over really bad there. The ambulance didn't want to go there. They wanted to come south of the ice storm. So they brought him here. I told CJ I needed him and Mika to clean up the house, finish putting up dinner, um, get everybody settled for bed. I would be back home. You know, I'd let them know something. I'd call them. And I... Is my phone ringing? Yes, but my phone's... Oh, let me answer this. Do you want Kool-Aid or Pop or what? Uh, neither one. My kids don't need sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know I'm going to give us some cookies or something. You know that. Yeah. But Maddie and Kool-Aid, Kool it's, it's, it's a lot. Oh, okay. Okay, she, I won't do that. She has a lot of energy on her own. <laughs> oh, she... Okay. Uh, James, James video called her earlier. Yeah. And she says, Daddy, I don't want a robot, Daddy. Please don't come home. <laughs> and he was like, what? And she said, they gave you a metal leg. Please don't come home. I'm scared. Oh, gosh, and, and I was like, no, no, they did not. And I, so I took his camera and I showed her his leg. And she was like, oh, okay, you can come home. <laughs> she said, I was scared to have a robot, Dad. Yeah, really. I was like, only Maddie would think of that. Really. Okay, we will wait here a little bit and hear the sunny, and I will call CJ when we get close to the house. He can come and help us. I can't walk very good, so uh, he can come and help us get the stuff in. Okay. Okay. All right. See you later. All right. Love you. Bye bye. Okay. Um, that was uh, Cheryl. She's a friend of mine from church. Anyways, where was I? He, he fell and they got him here to the hospital and um, they did x-rays and stuff. And the doctor that was on call 
um, when they finally let us come back, he was very rude. He just like stormed past me and he like slammed into me on the way by. And Terry was like, whoa, wait a minute. You know, he was like, are you gonna tell us anything? And he was like, I don't know who you are and just kept walking. And Terry was like, this is his wife. You know, we'd like to know what's going on, blah, blah, blah. And he said, I don't know if she's really his wife. And just was very, I don't know. And Terry was like, well, this is his wife and she'd like to know what's going on with her husband. Like, you know, what's going on? And he said, well, I've already scheduled surgery for tomorrow. And we we're like, well, what kind of surgery? Like, you know, tell us what's going on. And he was like, well, that's up to the patient. And he went to walk off and Terry was like, this is his wife. You need to tell his wife something. You know, how is he consenting to surgery when he's under all this medication? We need to know what's going on. Finally, the uh, on-call doctor, he turned around and he was like, okay, look, he broke his hip. He needs a hip replacement. I've already talked to ortho. I've sent him imaging, blah, blah, blah. He needs surgery like tomorrow. And he said, the thing is, is we can send him where you want him to go, where he's went for past surgeries, but with it iced over, it may be a few days before they get him out of here. Or you can let us do it here and we'll have a doctor come in and do it. And weighing the fact that it may be a few days, we went ahead and said, okay, even though, again, this isn't our favorite choice here. Um, and so they moved him upstairs, got him situated, um, gave him a pain block for the night. And um, he... He was supposed, they came in in the morning and they said he's going to do surgery between 12 and 1. Well, they ended up coming in at 10 and saying, hey, it's time to go. <clears throat> they took him back, got him prepped, and then the surgeon came in. And as soon as he walked in, I said, I know you. You did his shoulder surgery. Well, it turns out he's contracted through like four different hospitals to do trauma surgeries. And so we lucked out and we ended up with the same surgeon we went to for his shoulder surgery. And, um... He said, well, the ortho that sent me his stuff said he needed a full hip replacement. He goes, but I just looked at it, and um, I'm pretty confident I can fix that without a hip replacement. I'll let you guys know after surgery, but I think we can do something here. And um, so he went in. He did surgery. He came back out. He was able to put the hip back in the socket and put two pins in it and just a few cuts down his leg, nothing major. And James is um, recovering well. Yesterday, there was no PT due to all the ice. There was nobody here to do it. And so he laid in bed all day and all night. They just got him up this morning. He was very stiff, but he did walk to the door and back in the room. And um, he did pretty good. So anyways, it's been a few hours. They decided they're gonna go ahead and release him. So I've been working with insurance, trying to figure out what's covered, what's not covered, whether the walker will be covered, whether or not physical therapy is covered, how many visits, where at, all of these things. And then we have to figure out how long he's gonna be out of work to. Um, it's just a lot. But they're getting ready to get him released and I'm gonna to run to Walmart and buy him some clothes because it's closer than our house and they cut his clothes off of him at the ER and the ambulance and stuff. Like, they cut his shirt off on the ambulance. They cut his pants and stuff off at the ER. And so, um, he has no clothing. So, I'm going to run to Walmart, find him some pajama pants and a t-shirt he can wear that are pretty loose. And then, um, come back and hopefully by then they have his discharge stuff situated and we can go home. Um, also, Cheryl is going to be bringing us sandwich stuff, corn dogs, pizzas, easy things, so we can eat on those, which will help me a whole lot. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna get to Walmart. Okay, I'm back here at the hospital and I'm about to go in, but let me show you guys what I got James for $13. Got him a Hanes pajama set. He can wear that home. And then because my kids have been such amazing helpers through all of this and done so well for me, and maintained the house and everything else. I just got everybody a stuffy for Valentine's Day.
Oh yeah, and on top of everything, look how this fog is on my drive home. Like, you cannot see crap. And it actually looks much clearer on my phone than it does out my windshield. But this fog is so bad. There is a huge silo over there and you can't even see it through the fog. Like, I always post pictures on Facebook of this giant beautiful silo over here and you can't see it at all. Look how bad this fog and the mud are right now after that ice storm. It is ridiculous trying to see anything in this fog. Hi friends, um, I just got James home a little bit ago. It took about a half an hour to get him in the house from the car and get him settled. But he settled, a friend of mine ordered us pizzas and so we picked those up on the way home and the kids were eating pizzas when I left. But James's scripts were not ready at the pharmacy and so I had to um, backtrack back to town and go get his prescriptions. So I just got those, drove back home in this fog and now I'm home and I'm done and I'm tired. And like I said, everybody's eating pizzas, but I'm gonna get off of here and get him his medicine. And then I'm gonna take me a long hot shower and just come down a little bit from my stress level that has been this week so far. So I'm gonna end this video here. I would say I hope you guys enjoyed it, but it's been a very long stressful week and I don't find very much joy in a whole lot of everything that's happened this week so far. Um, but I will see you guys soon with another new video. Bye.